your source for fun, entertainment, and events, with your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hey everybody, welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We sure are here. It's Tuesday. That's right. We got a lot lined up today. Let's see. We got the uh, Grant Strand Humane Society's here. We do. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. The, the Seahawks Super are here. Follies. That's right. Absolutely. We got the Seahawks and who else? Yep. And we also have Liz from the Art Museum talking about an art Lego sculpture, that's which is be, really that's cool. That's pretty exciting. You yeah. know, if you love Legos, you got to go by and check all that out. Totally. We've got a great all show that's coming, coming up. up in just a moment. But first off, let's check out the weather. Good Tuesday afternoon to you. Right now, Live Doppler 15,000 is picking up on some scattered precipitation through our viewing area right now. This is not widespread and this is not severe. This is just tropical moisture that we are seeing. I want to go ahead and tell you why and when is this going to be a relief. We've been seeing this due to a low pressure system that's off the panhandle of Florida. Down in, near the panhandle of Florida, they are getting pummeled with rain showers, although not us. We are just seeing some scattered showers from this low pressure system spinning counterclockwise funneling in this tropical moisture. No, there is no tropical development of any sort in the Atlantic. We are just getting this tropical moisture as in the form of light, moderate to sometimes heavy rainfall. As this stalled front does push to the north, this will will start to give our atmosphere some relief from these showers. Futurecast, go ahead and pinpoint clouds and radar with this. You can see a mix of sun and clouds through the through Futurecast throughout the afternoon hours along with showers. These scattered showers do look to set up more inland. When you have a flow off the ocean like that, it tends to skip over that first part of land and with the sea breeze, it is going to mainly fuel our thunderstorms later on in the day today, mainly inland. And then as we go through the afternoon or late evening hours, I should say, isolated showers are possible overnight, continuing on into our Wednesday morning. So tomorrow we are going to see a repeat of what we have been seeing today. Scattered showers once again, but no severe weather is expected. Your current temperatures right now, 88 in Myrtle Beach, really mid 80s to upper 80s across the board. Bennettsville, Laurenburg, you're checking in in 90s, so temperatures across the border belt in the upper 80s to low 90s. Your inland afternoon forecast, not all that bad, bad temperatures in the low 90s, partly sunny with scattered showers and storms. It is a bit breezy out there today with wind gusts, possibly gusting up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. Your afternoon Grand Strand temperatures in the upper 80s. Your seven day grand strain forecast 88 for a high today and we're going to hold that rain chance in there over the next seven days. Your seven day inland forecast 91 for a high today. Scattered showers for the next couple of days, but relief is in sight coming this weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Welcome back to Caroline and Company Live. Something crazy always happens here. Always I on tell this you. show. <laughs> hey, we've got a special birthday today. We a lady sure that watches do. us all the time. There she is, Lucille Bridgman from Laurenburg, North Carolina. She turns 94 today. I tell you what, she watches us every day. Let's see, we look forward sweet. to you being a hundred years old. When you get to be a hundred, we're gonna bring you on the show and you're gonna talk with us. How about That's that? That's right. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the place where I get all my clothes from, Butler's over in uh, Florence. I'm talking about all kind of clothes now. If you're still looking for summer wear, they've got it. Flip-flops, bathing suits, shorts, just about anything you're looking for. Suits, look at their jackets and everything. They're coming in daily, getting ready for back to school, so you got to go by and check them out. Over a thousand ties in stock. And don't forget the shoes, Peter Millar uh, shirts, Southern Tide. Anything you're looking for. If you want to look good, you got to go buy butlers because, believe me, the older you get, you need to c try to look better. And <laughs> that's, why, that's why I do all my shopping at butlers. That's why you go, right? That's where I go there. Fantastic. All right, all right so Sirocco Akanawa, I've been trying to say it all morning. The karate team in Surfside last week picked up numerous trophies at the North Carolina Nationals. The team won, first, <clears throat> won 10 first place trophies plus a right. number of second and third place trophies. Uh, Gage Vesser won the first and kata in and the second in weapons kata. Wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty that's good. A, that's a lot. Pretty good I mean, Gage. He's well, working on his black belt. He is, yeah. yeah. And for, I mean, for this area, look at all yeah. those trophies. That's I got a black belt awesome. and a brown belt. <laughs> Matches my clothes. All right, let's talk a little bit about what's happening today. Okay, today's Tuesday, uh, August 9th, and this is Dance a Polka Day. Oh, interesting. And it's also <laughs> it's also National Underwear Day. So better have your underwear on. I got mine on. 
Thank goodness. All right, let's go. 1944. Let's check out Sam Elliott. I really like this guy. 72 years old. He was in movies like Hunk, Ghost Rider, Roadhouse, one of my favorite. Tombstone, The Quick and Dead. All right, 1967. Deion Sanders, 49, the first athlete to play in the Super Bowl and World Series. They called him Neon Dion. Yeah, I ah, like that. Great that. name. 1968. Gillen Anderson. 48 years old. She portrayed the FBI agent in mm. X Files. That's right. And uh, let's see, movie House of Sister. Marcia, I typed it wrong. And also, The Last King of Scotland. You all never right. know what these cards are going to say. <laughs> all right, today in history, 1946, the first time all <clears throat> Major League Baseball games, eight, are played at night. That's right, they got lights moving right. on. 1971, Leroy Satchel Page inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. How about it? All right, everybody ready? Know it all department. Let's know it go. all department where you learn something every day, okay? Anybody knows, ho just holler it out. What Hollywood star drives the most expensive car? <laughs> Dan Quinn. No, that's not right. Okay, it's a rapper. Jay Z. He drives a My Back Excorello, whatever oh, that is. Okay. It only sells for $8 million. <laughs> So he's driving the most expensive, and it'll run 218 miles per hour, zero to 60, four seconds. You know how fast that is? <laughs> it's gone. That's, That's right. how fast it is. I can't, can you believe that? <laughs> That's crazy. That is an eight million dollar car. Woo! You can buy. You'll hey, buy me one of those, yeah? You could buy a truckload of Hundays. You know that? You could. There's a little a plug truck for you. Load of Hyundai. <laughs> All right, that's from the Know It All department today. That's right. We got a great show coming up. You guys, stay tuned. All right, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We have the Great Straight Humane Society with our pet of the week. A little different shot today because we're going to let the dog do some tricks. Jessica, tell us about this pup. Chief is amazing. He's a wonderful boy. We've had him at the shelter for quite some time. He came in as a pup and had some behavioral things that he needed to work on, and he's uh, turned into a completely different dog. Um, oh, you'll see in just a him. minute <laughs> all of the tricks he knows and just how much more calm he's become. Uh, now he can play with other dogs. He didn't know how to do that when he first came in. So he's come just leaps and bounds from where he was. Absolutely. And he's still only three years old, so still a young boy. He's you know Definitely, but, but a little bit out of that, at least he's in a trained puppy stage which is great it's a, be a great you know dog for somebody to have okay. absolutely oh, you know you get an already trained dog and I mean how much more perfect could that be and look how handsome he is and you know where he's <laughs> been too he's been with you guys so you've got all his history which exactly. I love okay all right chief I'm gonna move a little okay. bit you want to do some tricks move, this is Lisa try. Lisa is his trainer yeah. she's a volunteer yeah. trainer so you listen to your trainer well, go he, for it buddy he already knows how to drool on command as you perfect. can see which is always good come out here honey Chief, return. Return. Look at it. Return. Good sit. Down. Good. Chief, sit. Stay. Stay. Down. Stay. Front. Front. And sit. Good. What Turn. What a good boy. Sit. Good. Down. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Come. Oh, <laughs> good sit. boy. And He's a, like a genius. That's awesome. I what know. A great, I mean, I mean, you can't <laughs> really <laughs> ask for anything better, but to have. Would you a like dog to see that... something better than that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see do it. this wonderful, delicious cookie. I'm hiding it. He sees all Which the ones. Which paw? Nice! Good, Good boy! boy. That's awesome! <laughs> Wonderful! So Give if somebody wants speech. to adopt Chief, real quick, tell me what do they need to do? Absolutely. Come on down to the shelter anytime during business hours. Just ask, uh, ask to see him. We'll have them meet with uh, Lisa and Maggie and they can definitely take him home. He's ready to go. Touch. Neutered, microchipped. Aww. He's ready. Um, and could not be more perfect. <laughs> yeah, he's fantastic. If you guys want to see Chief or any of the other dogs, go check out the Great Strain Humane Society. We'll be right back. Good job. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, school is getting ready to start next week, and the Myrtle Beach Seahawks have a big year coming up. We're going to find out what's going on, also about a kickoff banquet that's coming up in a few weeks. That's right, school is getting ready to start back, and I tell you, the Seahawks are always doing something exciting. They've had some great seasons in all kinds of sports. But right now, right. Ray's with us, and Ray, 
We're going to talk about a sports thing that's coming up. That's well, right. What is, what is that about? That's Tell right. Me. Well, we, we had an outstanding year last year and looking forward to a good one this year. But we have our kickoff banquet on August the 27th. That's on Saturday. Going to be held at Pine Lakes Country Club at 6 p.m. And it is our largest fundraiser of the year. It's just where we, we really put a lot of time and effort into this, raise money. And um, basically, we have a, a ticket for $200, admits to, for dinner, drinks, uh, live band, silent auction, raffle prizes, and a, a reverse raffle for cash winnings. So wow. uh, it's a great big time social event right there in the Myrtle Beach community. And uh, we, it's great because we have alumni that come back, teachers that support it, community members, a lot of business partners in the, in the community that donate raffle prizes. So it's a great event. Uh, April Gordon has been our chairperson. She has put a lot of time and effort into it. We've got a tailgating theme this year. So. Uh, oh. we're, it's going to be a blast. All right, now, how did y'all do last year on your fundraiser? Do you remember what y'all raised last year? Very good. Yeah, we were, I think it was right around about $40,000. So, wow. uh, did, a, did a great job. And we use those funds during the year to provide, we want to put the, give the kids the best experience possible, put them out on the fields and the courts and looking the best that they can. So, when it's time and the need is there to buy new uniforms, uh, the equipment that they need to, to do what they can do out there on the fields for training and so forth. Uh, and we use those funds during the year like we've been very fortunate the last few years to have several teams go to regional and state yeah. championships. Right. So we provide a little better bus than the yellow bus <laughs> and some meals and hotels if we need to. So it's um, again a uh, very successful program. Our coaches work real hard to, to get the student athletes to where they're successful. And, but with that responsibility comes a little more money that we have sure. to uh, it's, kick it's in. The sad so. thing about schools nowadays is just not enough money to go around for all these sporting events. That's, right. that's why booster stuff. clubs have to get so involved exactly. to do this. Exactly. Right. Man, that's a great job y'all do. Yeah, it's, it's, we have an awesome committee. Uh, they all work really, really hard during the year, not just now, but this is, this is our big one. We work yeah. hard. Carolyn Swanson, our marketing director, works real hard during the summer to get everything put together and um, just an, an awesome uh, program. So. Awesome. All right, quick, All right. tell me, how do I get a ticket? Yes, um, social media, any at uh, Myrtle Beach uh, Seahawk Booster. Um, you can email uh, Carolyn Swanson, uh, John Cahill, Jake Hill, Cahill at uh, OreCountySchools.net. Okay. Um, okay. All, any different ways. Or call the school and they'll take yeah. care of you. And we'll be selling them in our first two games, August okay. 20th against Burns. Fantastic. All right. Thanks for being Good with luck. us, Ray. Okay. We appreciate it, my Thank friend. Thank you. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. All right, how many of you have ever played with Legos? Everybody has. It's a big deal now. Kids love them. That's right. And uh, we've got something exciting for you. That's right. We've got Liz with us. And Liz is from the Art Museum, the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. And we're going to talk about an art Lego sculpture? Yes. Expo? T tell an me about it. An exhibition. It's the Art Museum Summer Exhibition. It's called The Art of the Brick. And it features large-scale uh, Lego sculptures. So sculptures made completely out of Lego bricks and plates, which I've come to learn what those are. The bricks <laughs> are what you think of, the okay. little Lego brick, and plates are flat. So, okay. But what's amazing oh. are the organic curved forms that these sculptures take on using these rectangular objects. What, does some, what are some of them? Well, we have the exhibit takes up the entire museum, both floors of gallery space. Oh, wow. So on the main level, we have mostly human figures posed in all sorts of forms. Is that oh, an umbrella? umbrella? Now that's that, yeah. on the second level. That's our In Pieces series. So you'll see all kinds of sculptures up there, along with digital that's photographs amazing, by Dean West that feature the Lego sculptures Look at that. in the photographs. <laughs> I'm super impressed. That's very cool. Now, who who makes these? Well, we have an artist named Nathan Sawaya. He was born in Washington, raised in Oregon, and actually studied to become an attorney in Manhattan and left that career then to become a full-time artist. He said, heck, would be an attorney. That's right. He played with Legos like most of us when we were kids and then right. discovered it as an art medium later in life. Very well, cool. I, I don't know if you know this, but I saw something the other day online. If you had Legos 40, 50 years ago, they all fit. They still they fit the still new ones. Fit. Yes, yes they're all compatible. <laughs> Which is really cool. So this is great for kids or anybody. I mean, I'm super all impressed. Um, what are the hours? How do we get, you know, yes. get to come see it? Well, we hope well, everyone will come see us at the Art Museum, which is at 3100 South Ocean Boulevard. And the hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, Sundays 1 to 4. 
and the exhibit is up through Sunday, September 11th. All right, is it a free exhibit or it costs? It's yes, cost admission is free. Oh, we ask okay. for donations, but yeah. it is free. Yes. So you can't make a donation to the museum that keeps you we in all the arts. We would appreciate it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's right. very good. Y'all have a lot of cool stuff, Liz. Well, Y'all really do. Thank, thank you. you for we being on the show. Be, yeah, thank you for being with us. Thank Those you for really having neat. me. Yeah. I'm going to have to bring my little boys up there. They Please will, do. One will tear it apart. The other one will think it's neat. <laughs> Hopefully they'll the be other inspired one. and <laughs> build some creations of their own. You tear that apart, you're in trouble if you tear one of those. Big, I'll blame it on you. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Got more stuff coming up. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, so there's a free medical clinic in Darlington and Hartsville, and we're going to find out about an event that they are putting on to help. I just say thank yeah. you to your volunteers, yeah, right? Just say thank you to them. That's All right. right. Super Follies are set for Saturday, August 20th at the Lakeview Baptist Church in Hartsville, and uh, we've got Kathy with us to talk a little bit. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the clinic. Let's talk a little sure. bit about what yeah. the clinics do sure. for people and who's eligible to go to them. Free Medical Clinic is an interdenominational Christian ministry that's designed to help people that cannot find health insurance, cannot afford it, or don't qualify. Um, we have volunteer physicians, nurse practitioners, PAs, pharmacists, and nurses that come, wow. volunteer their time to see these patients. We take them in, do an eligibility interview, make sure that they are um, getting the resources they need, and then the doctors um, see them. We get their medications before they leave, either through a mail order program or um, through our pharmacy that we have on site. Wow, that's pretty good. Now, that's when are y'all open in, Sat in Darlington and, and Hartsville? Hartsville, we're open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, and Hart uh, Darlington Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, and Friday. All right, so, I mean, you've got a lot of people that come to these, a lot of people. It we takes have. a lot of money to do it. We have, and and God has provided, I can just tell you that much. That's awesome. Um, it, it has been a little bit of a change since the Affordable Care Act came. Our right. patients are um, truly um, doing everything they can to help themselves, and they have been able to find health insurance, um, more Medicaid, but there are still such a large number that need the safety net um, right. in between insurances, um, finding themselves in situations where they can't get their medication. So it, it's, it's a wonderful place to be and a wonderful place to call that's, a job. That's <laughs> awesome. So as a thank you to these volunteers, the Super Follies, you're going to have an event for them. Tell us about the event. Couldn't do it without our volunteers. We have three staff members and then the rest of it, wow. two doctor's offices, pharmacists, is all volunteers. So our Super Follies, it's the 11th year. Um, we actually have a banquet, a talent show, and we had an auction until this year. We decided because of funding with places like Newcore Steel, they just did a golf tournament for us, made a huge funding. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to have door prizes that we give away. Kind of give the community a little bit of a money break, but our tickets are for sale. Please, please, we do need to raise How do I get a ticket? Yep. How much? Tickets are $30 a piece. Uh, volunteers come free of charge with a guest, but um, it's $30 a piece. Um, you can buy the tickets at either clinic. Um, Burry's Bookstore in Hartsville has the tickets, or you can call the phone number at either clinic and we will mail it, or you can email us a request. Um, to get it to you that way. So it's going to be a fun event. You're going to have oh, some dancers. Oh, so dance, much fun. Dancing with the stars. The talent show. We, had, we have a couple that was dancing with the stars. He's going to be shagging. We've actually got a minister in Darlington that nobody really knew he could shag. I he and his that. wife were coming to yeah, shag. Buddy. Who's that? Who's that? It's, Go ahead and tell it's Hunter Jordan and his wife Walker. Oh, that's great. But Andy Locklayer is also our MC. Well, so we're going to have a lot of fun with Andy. And then we've All got right. a violinist and okay, got a all lot kind of good stuff. Thank you. The date, once again, tell them when. August 20th. That's it. 6 p.m. August 20th. Thank you. Thank you for coming all the way out. Get a ticket and check it out. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. You all be right back.
<laughs> Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's show. We've got a lot of fun things happening in the area. That's right. I want to thank Mike Hutchinson for putting that little thing Comic together. Thing. That little that spot for us. It's pretty cool. good. He did a little cartoon type thing. Good job, Mike. We very, thank you for that. Very, very good. Yeah. All right, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's do it. We are We're going on to Laurenburg, North Carolina. On, on the, the road. road. That's right. Scotland County, and we'll be up there finding out about businesses, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. We learn fun a lot stuff. of things. It is so much fun. That's really right. And then Thursday we'll be back in, and Friday we'll be at Bucksport for a Woo! live show. Let's everybody, goodbye, everybody. Y'all have a good one.